In this section, we will learn the product and quotient rule of exponents. Let's multiply 2 to the third power times 2 to the fifth power. 2 to the third is the base 2 multiplied 3 times, since our power or exponent is 3, times 2 to the fifth, so we have the base 2 multiplied 5 times. In total, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 twos that are being multiplied. Therefore, 2 to the third times 2 to the fifth equals to 2 to the eighth. Notice that our base has not changed since we're multiplying twos. Next, let's multiply 3 to the fourth times 3 cubed. 3 to the fourth is the base 3 multiplied 4 times. 3 cubed is the base 3 multiplied 3 times. Now we're multiplying 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 threes, which is 3 to the 7th power. What if we didn't know what m and n were? What if we don't know what the exponents were? Well, with 2 to the 3rd times 2 to the 5th, we added 3 and 5. With 3 to the 4th times 3 cubed, we added 4 and 3. So 3 to the m th times 3 to the n, we would add the exponents m plus n. This gives us a product rule of exponents. Any real number a and any positive integers m and n, a to the m times a to the n equals to a to the m plus n. In other words, to multiply powers with the same base, keep the same base and add the exponents. Examples. Multiply x cubed times x to the fifth. When multiplying the same base, we add the powers and keep the base, so this will be x to the 3 plus 5, which is x to the 8th. Our next, our next example, we have 6 to the 2nd power times 6 to the 7th power times 6 to the 3rd power. When multiplying exponents with the same base, we keep the base and add the power, so we would add 2 plus 7 plus 3. 2 plus 7 is 9, 9 plus 3 is 12, this is 6 to the 12th power. Next we have x plus y to the 6th times x plus y to the 9th. Our base is x plus y and our exponents are 6 and 9 so we keep the same base and add 6 plus 9 which will give us x plus y to the 15th power. Next, we have w to the third, z to the fourth, times w cubed, z to the seventh. Now, we have two different bases here. So when we multiply, we will multiply the same base. So we have w to the third times w to the third, which will give us w to the three plus three. And then we have z to the fourth times z to the seventh, which will give us z to the four plus seven. When multiplying the same base, add the powers and keep the base. This is equal to w to the 6th times z to the 11th. Next, let's, let's divide 2 to the 5th by 2 to the 3rd. 2 to the 5th means we have two 5s that we're multiplying. 2 to the 3rd means we have three 2s we're multiplying. 2 divided by 2 is 1. So this is a factor of 1, that's a factor of 1, that's a factor of 1, which means our result is 2 squared, or 4. Let's take 3 to the 6 divided by 3 squared. 3 to the 6 means we have 6 3's that we are multiplying. We're dividing that by 3 squared which is 2 3's. 3 divided by 3 is 1. 3 divided by 3 is 1. So what we have left is we have 1, 2, 3, 4 3's that are being multiplied. That's 3 to the 4th which is 81. Now, what if we didn't know what m and n were? Well, here we did 5 minus 3, since th the three uh, twos from the denominator are taking three twos from the numerator, that will leave us with two twos on the numerator. In the second example, the two twos, the, the two threes on the denominator are taking away two threes from the numerator, so we have left four threes, or three to the fourth. So if you divide the same base, you would subtract the powers and keep the base. This brings us to the quotient property of exponents. The quotient property of exponents says, for any real number a and any positive integers m and n, a to the m divided by a to the n equals to a to the m minus n. 
In other words, when dividing the same base, keep the base and subtract the exponents. For example, let's divide x to the ninth by x to the third. Using the quotient rule, we will keep the base, subtract the power, so which will give us x to the sixth. 8 to the 7th over 8 to the 3rd, uh, we're dividing the same base, so we keep the base, subtract the exponents, which is 8 to the 4th, and we could multiply 8 to the 4th, 8 times 8 times 8 times 8, but for this example, we will leave this as 8 to the 4th. 6y to the 4th, 14th divided by 6y to the 6th. Now, our, in this case, our base is 6y, so our base will remain unchanged, and we will subtract the exponents 14 and 6. So this will give us 6y to the 14 minus 6, which is 8th power. In letter D, we have 6 and 4, which are not exponents. So we will write these as 6, and 6 over 4 times r to the 7th over r cubed times t to the 9th over t. So let's separate the different bases. 6 over 4, if you reduce this, will give you... 3 half, 2 goes into 6 3 times, 2 goes into 4 twice. r to the 7th times o divided by r to the 3rd. We keep the base, subtract the exponents. t to the 9th divided by t. If uh, there's an exponent, there's an exponent of 1. So we will keep the base, subtract the exponents since we're dividing. This gives us 3 over 2 times r to the 4th times t to the 8th which we can write as 3 r to the 4th t to the 8th, since the 3, the r to the 4th, and t to the 8th are all in the numerator, and 2 times 1 times 1 will give you a 2 on the denominator. 